I heard you talk about this last night, but for it was such a great story of how Susan got into the mix. Well, there's something called the list, uh, which studios have, and I guess networks have it. And the list is each studio has a list of their actor and actress who they think are bankable, who, who mean enough commercially. And it, for, so for the stars of any show, they want to have people off their list. They don't care about the other casting. Well, the problem is Susan wasn't on the list and nobody could understand why. And her agent kept saying, she's perfect. And I kept saying, well, I don't think she's right because I couldn't tell her she wasn't on the list because the studio would start screaming at me. So Susan, who lived in Italy, people don't realize she's Italian. Sarandon was the name of Chris Sarandon, her first husband. And she was living in Italy with her two-year-old and a then Italian director boyfriend. And she flew to LA from Italy on her own dime. Uh, and, and her agent said, she's getting off the plane at 2 o'clock. You've got to see her. And she came in. And I said, Kevin, you got to be there. We have to be respectful, even though she's not on the list. And she came in. I don't know how you fly from Italy, and she comes in looking like a million bucks. Well, she's a beautiful woman, but she had this red and white striped tube dress that she knew how to wear. Mm -hmm. And she just owned the room. She pushed Kevin around. She bossed me around. She knew the script inside and out. And then she just blew out the door. And we thought, well, that's it. That's the character, but she's not on the list. What do we do? This was on a Friday. Keep up. Two weeks later, we're shooting. We still didn't have the part. And about two hours later, I get a call from the head of the studio saying, Ron, I saw Susan a couple of weeks ago. She looks great. Why don't you put her on the list? <laughs> well, I knew she was in Italy up until two hours ago. And what she'd done without knowing it, go from our meeting to the studio and just worked her way up and down the hallways until she found the head of the studio. She pushed his door open and said, oh, Mike, how are you? Geez, I'm sorry. I'm just looking for and she just dazzled him. And she went back on a plane, flew to Italy, not knowing that Mike would call us, put her on the list, and when she got off the plane, she had the job. So um, <laughs> it's a testament to, to willfulness. Yeah, she knew, she knew how to work it. Yeah.